So I had this fish up to the ice on one hook, lost him, and he went down and ate the other one. Oh, I got him. Oh, no. No way. Oh, I lost him. No! Oh. Oh. There he goes. I love coming up here. It's family oriented, small enough. Everyone's very personable. All right, so right now I'm using a setup from Cast King. I've got the Cast King Convert Rod, and it's called that because you convert, you can convert it from a 27 inch medium light rod to a 27 inch medium rod. Just by pulling the blank out of the handle right here, you can swap them out. So if you wanna pack light on a trip, and maybe you're gonna use heavier baits, lighter baits, more finesse presentation, maybe you're gonna go after bigger fish, smaller fish, whatever, you can change up your power on your rod right here. And if you are packing light, this Cast King Zephyr 1000 FSS reel is super lightweight. It's made out of really durable material and gives you uh, plenty of torque and plenty of finesse if you're gonna be uh, going after some finicky fish. All right, the other rod that I've got here is a Defender from Favorite. It's actually a combo. It's about a $60 uh, rod and reel combo that you can get with uh, this reel, the Defender reel and the Defender rod. Right now I have a 28 inch light rod that I'm using and uh, I've got this on my dead stick right now. We also have a Defender medium rod that we've been using for some of the bigger baits out here today. So nice warm house for us here this morning. We got four holes on each side. Nice long bench seat. Uh, obviously you can fish four people out of here, but uh, plenty of room for two guys. Yeah. I kind of like it. David likes to have his space, so. <laughs> and so do I. I got lots of stuff. This will be good. You didn't see him? Mm -mm. Oh, here comes one. He's 20 feet out. Got it. Nice. Oh, I see him on the <laughs> live scope. Oh, yeah. All right. Sorry. These one. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll eat on the cast king. Might be an eater, yeah. Ow. Not bad, not bad. Just slowly creeping in on it. Swam right underneath my coffin spoon and came over to the dead stick. <clears throat> and I twitched the dead stick a little bit and he saw him like freeze up and I was like, uh-oh, I lost him. And then I just slowly started to lift it off the bottom. And once he came up off the bottom, I was like, he's, this is gonna happen, he's committed. And I kept raising it up and he just shot right up and didn't hesitate. He made a mistake. <laughs> oh, I missed him. Oh, no. No. He hasn't gone too far away, but, oh, he's coming back, coming back. Yep, he's gonna eat it. There we go. Nice. Walleye. Walleye, yeah. Not bad. That guy came and hit it once, missed him, dropped it back down. I just have a plain gold hook right there that I'm putting uh, a minnow on. 
I keep it kind of down by the bottom. And here's a little tip for you. <laughs> Forget to put your bobber stop on. And uh, then you won't use your bobber. So I've just been watching with the live scope. It's the beauty of the live scope. So even if you don't have a bobber on there, you can see when there's a fish coming. And I just lift, I've been lifting that dead stick up just a little bit, that live minnow down there. And every time they've hit it. So he's not very big, but it is a walleye. I don't know. We're keeping saugers of this size. Should yeah, keep it's bigger it? than some of the saugers. Should we keep it since it's a walleye though? Or should, since it's a walleye, should we put it back? I don't know. I mean, we can keep saugers of this size and let this guy grow yeah. a little bit. Put so, that one back for the homies. That's right. So we're gonna give this walleye a chance to grow a little bit. 21 feet of water. He's obviously pretty healthy. And down he goes. Oh yeah, here he comes. There's two of them down there. Oh God, I got one. That's a that's a bigger fish too. Yeah. Oh come on. He's looking Dang. right at my bobber. That was a nice fish. That was a big fish. Dang it. Got him. On the dead stick. I'm gonna have to switch to a plain hook. Yeah. The thing is crushing. Definitely out fishing everything else. Another walleye? Yep. We just took it down too. Still there. Got him. Nice. Got him. Dead stick. He's not very big. Seems <laughs> to be the ticket though. Oh, it's a perch! Oh, nice! Oh, bonus fish! Still not very big, but... Bonus perch. Alright! I don't know, do we keep that perch? That's a very small perch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to keep that on me <laughs> It's been pretty consistent. Just about every fish is eating this dead stick, but right. last one didn't, I guess. You kind of looked at it, but I think I messed that one up. Let's see what happens here. I'm a little bit off the bottom now. I might be up too high. Well, I had, I got that one at like two feet where they came up and looked at it. I, I don't know, a foot off the bottom probably. This guy just swam right past. Dang it. Oh, here comes another mark. This might be a a little better mark, or I'm just wishful, just wishful thing. This, this is a better mark. He ate it. Got him. Nice. Is that rolling? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is a better one. Sinker. Ooh, ooh, really nice. It's a nice walleye. Nice. Oh no! No! Oh no! Ah. That was a big fish. You blew it! God dang it! <clears throat> right, here it comes. Decent mark. Need some more. There it is. Bobber is going down. Got him. Ooh -wee. Not as big as the last one that I lost, but this might be. Maybe not. Maybe not. What? Sauger. Saugerillo. Ooh, for the bucket. Well, the plane hook is running the show, so all right, I'm gonna put that on. Yeah, plain gold hook. That's the kind I'm using right there. And full minnow. Here's a number four. <laughs> Easy. Ooh, that one a little better. A little better. Need help? Plain hook. Plain hook. Another one for the pail. I don't care. I will say this, even though a lot of them are small saugers, 
I love all day action like this. Like when you know pretty much at any point you're gonna have something to work on the live scope, you know, or the electronics. That's fun. And just catching fish. Catching fish, yeah. TV time out. Can we get pizza delivered to your fish house before? No. Don't have it. Man, I think you missed them. So I like to upsize, and I've got this jig and shadow wrap right here, and the, the color is a glow pink squirrel. Squirrel! So check that out, and it's a big bait. And I just hooked a, a little sauger about this big. I ended up losing it in the hole. But that's how aggressive some of these fish can be, and usually you'd think that that would be a little big for a fish about twice that size. But uh, I don't think you can ever really go too big up here at Lake of the Woods, and it might help you stay away from some of those smaller ones too. He's not very big. He's coming back. Another one coming in. There we go. Nice. Are you rolling? Yep. Nice. On the, oh, it's a big perch. Nice. nice. Bonus fish, boys. Thought it might be a little too big and he came up and hit it a couple of times and bumped it, went back down to the bottom and I slowed the cadence down, picked the cadence up, laid it there. A couple of times I just set it there and he came up and whacked it. And that time he went in the bucket. Now these fish have been fairly active, but uh, um, they haven't really been hitting the, uh, fairly active is maybe the wrong word for it. They've been pretty willing to cooperate with the dead stick, but not really with when we're jigging. But I'm gonna go something a little bit bigger. This is a uh, Rip and Shad from Northland. It's a kind of a glow pink color. Got a rattle in it. We're gonna see what happens. Let's make some noise. It's pulling pull drag. <laughs> I'm guessing this is not going to work, but I'm going to try it. I did get a pound on the bottom. I caught a bunch of fish on that live target rattle bait last year. Like a lot of little saugers were just smoking it. But we were catching a lot of fish jigging last year too. I don't even know if I had a bobber rod down last year yeah. most of the time. I think we had one bobber rod down in the fish house. and. Came up and looked at it. I went back down. Dang it. Still there, just sitting under it now though. Oh, oh. Definitely interested in it. Oh, another one coming to my dead stick. Come over here. Nice. How's it feel, David? A little better. Oh, elite. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Plain hook. Oh, a second minnow. <laughs> Look to see if it has hooks in it or if it's a natural chub. Oh, in the middle? Yeah, and then additional minnow that's in there. There's two in there. There's two minnow, two extra minnows yeah, in there? there's one chomped up. Does that have a hook And this one's there? got a hook hole in it. It does. Mm, it's one of ours. Interesting. What do you think? I will eat. It's right on it. Oh, there it is. Hit it. Yeah, he's got it. Still have it. Yep, he's got him. Got him. Nice.
good one. Mm, I don't think it's as good as it looked on the live mm, scope. That's why. Well, I am. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. 12.25 in the afternoon. A little midday uh, walleye bite there. There he is, he's down. Oh, he's right. <laughs> How aggressive do you think this fish is? That's a nice walleye right there. Uh, it's kind of funny because I, I had him on the dead stick. I had him up to the hole and he popped off. And then I just had this, it's the ripping shad from Northland hanging down there near the bottom. And Paul from Riverbend sitting in here, he goes, oh, I just watched him on your live scope go after the, the ripping shad. So I grabbed that and jigged a little bit and he came up and ate it. So I had this fish up to the ice on one hook, lost him and he went down and ate the other one. Now I'm gonna eat him. <laughs> Not only did we have a handful of media members from the Association of Great Lakes Outdoor Writers on the trip, but a new group aimed at taking veterans outdoors was also there. And we started this organization um, to simply give back to veterans and first responders. And the goal of that is to uh, provide these men and women that have served, whether it's um, in the military or in their communities, to give them just a, a phenomenal experience Lots of action, you got fish to eat, and you guys are all bringing some fish home. Yeah, yeah, you couldn't ask for a better time, so. And everybody comes here for the walleyes, but I'm a little jealous of the fish you caught this morning. Yeah, it wasn't me, unfortunately, but my uh, house partner, he caught a, uh, a burbot this morning, so. That's right awesome. Away, so. We're hoping it was a big walleye, but hey, yeah. we'll take that too, a nice bonus fish, so. They will trick you. Yeah, so we, um, we did uh, get an opportunity to uh, eat the fish tonight, take the loins out, and a little poor man's lobster. Yeah, have you had that before? I have, yeah. Okay, that's really pretty good. good. Oh yeah, as long as you do it right away, yeah. you know, boil it in 7-Up or Sprite. River Bend has been outstanding. It just, it couldn't be any better. They just, I've never been treated that well up here. I've gone up here in the past years, and um, it's been okay, they take care of you, but this is very personable. And they know everybody, they're like in contact with you directly. It's not getting somebody else to tell you, here you're talking to somebody that's the owner. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're involved and, 100%. And doing some of the cooking. How was that brisket tonight? Oh, I'm not a brisket person, but I devoured a bunch. <laughs> that was just uh, one of the, all the meals I've been, really. Mm -hmm. It's just, but the uh, brisket, you know, that, uh, I was a meat cutter first, uh, 37 years. And uh, this was top shelf. I love coming up here. It's family oriented, small enough. Everyone's, you know, very personable. Paul and Brandy take care of you. Know you by name by the end of the trip. And yeah, it's great. We always seem to catch fish. We always seem to eat fish. People always seem to have fish to bring home. So even yeah. when it's slow, I feel like all these things still happen. Yeah, exactly. And you can't change the weather, and but you're still fishing. Up here, uh, the Rainy River area in the spring, great fishing, of course. Uh, the summertime, you can't beat Lake of the Woods. And, and wintertime, it's just such a great experience uh, on such an iconic lake here at Lake of the Woods. Um, there's always a lot of action. There's always a chance for a giant fish. You can come back and stay in a cabin, uh, enjoy food in the bar and restaurant, or you can stay in one of their sleeper houses, which is an experience all on its own. Uh, just to be able to say that you stayed out on the ice at Lake of the Woods. And uh, the sleeper houses are great. They're, they've got some new ones uh, that are really comfortable. Uh, we, we were able to cast the TV and watch, watch Netflix on the TV while we were out there in the fish house. There you go, get them. Nice. Yeah. This lake is obviously known for walleye fishing and now sturgeon fishing, but there's been a couple of state records burbot caught out of this lake in recent years. Correct. Like I feel like you keep breaking it on this lake. Yes, 
So it, it was the first one when it first happened, we were just kind of like, oh, wow, you know, that that's kind of a cool record. Um, and, and with being a burbit, being a rough fish, there are some big fish out here. And mm -hmm. it wasn't very long after that record was broke, another one was caught and broke that record. And whitefish, there was a, a record whitefish oh, yeah. caught out of this end on the U.S. side of Lake of the Woods as well. So known for walleye sauger, but it has been this, specifically this season, a very great mixed bag and we're seeing a lot more numbers of fish and, and different species of fish coming around this south side. I mean there's big pike of course too and there's been uh, muskies caught down here this year, lake trout caught down here this year so uh, you never really know what you might catch here at Lake of the Woods of course big lake part of a river system so there's a lot of fish species out here but I'm kind of excited staying here overnight tonight we got some big glow jigs we're gonna pound the bottom and see if we can't catch a bourbon glow it up and, and water clarity this year is pretty clean so anything that's kind of glowing with the darker water because of that better clarity this year it's they can see it out there and, and there have been a few caught at night well, we might have to throw a couple rattle reels down too and we maybe maybe rest our eyes for a little bit. Take a break from the screen time. <laughs> That's right. I struggle with that. Last couple of times I've stayed overnight in fish houses, uh, you know, when we stay overnight on a lake. I just, I just, like, I'll be, I'll lay there and I'll jig from my bed like this. Keep one eye open <laughs> on the electronics. I just struggle to sleep when I'm out here fishing overnight. <laughs> but, so we'll see how tonight goes. That thrill of not knowing what, what could be lurking underneath. Yeah. Well, it's like, I mean, it's time on the water, right? I mean, you want to catch fish, you want a chance to catch a big fish, and obviously this is one of the best places to catch a big walleye. If you're out here, you got to have a line in the water. You, you know? do. <clears throat> Trophy walleye, uh, you know, big pike, sturgeon, um, you know, those record burbot and whitefish, you know, mm. you just, you never know. I'm sorry, I'm very distracted looking at the live scope, Paul. I know you're, I know you're talking over there, but I'm, no, <laughs> I'm only no. half listening. It's like, a, it's like a mosquito to the bug zapper. Last time I stayed out here, Paul, it was a while ago when I, last time I stayed in a sleeper out here, but um, after dark, fishing slowed down, which I think a lot of people know that Lake of the Woods is kind of a, a day bite lake uh, because of the water uh, clarity. But we did catch walleyes after dark, just a, just a handful, but they're all quality fish. Like they were nice fish. And anytime, again, anytime you're on a lake like this, if you wanna be out there, you know, if, if you wanna be out there as much as you can, this is a great opportunity because you might catch that walleye of a lifetime out here. But we caught a handful of walleyes that were all slot fish, and then we caught a burbot that we actually cooked up on the ice in a sleeper house that night. So it's a really cool experience that people can do out here. Well, absolutely. And Lake of the Woods has not been really known for the strong night bite like some other lakes and, and you know, more the clear water lakes. Mm -hmm. That natural staining of the water does add that that extra darkness and you know they even say that the main bite times are that nine to five that the bank time of, of fishing but that doesn't mean that like you said that you can't catch fish at yeah. night and if you're not out here trying you would never know mm -hmm. so um you you're pretty spot on when it comes to that the the, the opportunity is if you're there you could catch one yeah but it it's not really that go to overnight strong bite like some other places it, it's crazy like if, i remember the first few times i came up here in the winter and we were going coming out kind of after you know like right at sun up or a little after and we were going in right before sunset and i'm like why why aren't we out there early in the evening and uh the more i came up here the more i, I understood that that the best bite is is you know between those windows mm -hmm. i'm excited to try to catch an eel pot though after dark so we caught plenty of walleyes today and, and saugers of course so we'll see if we can't get one of those elber bows the lawyer the bourbon the ling the poor man's lobster freshwater cod <laughs> There's one more that I know of, Mariah. The Mariah. Yep. <laughs> Let's get one. Is oh, I got him. Oh, oh no. No. no way. Oh, I lost him. No. <laughs> mm. There he goes. Oh, oh, oh. Get him, David. 
Holy, no get way, him, get him. no way. <laughs> You're gonna get no him. No way. <laughs> get him. I gotta stop the spray sportsman up Come on. Stop. No way, no. He's still on ya. Come on. Come on. Come on. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, he's Where did there. he go? He's still there. He's still there. He just dropped lower. He's back. Yeah, he's not very big. Bite that big nasty. Is that what you got on oh, there? Oh, yeah. That oh, big boy. old spoon. <laughs> Three fat heads. Is that what you put on? I put a head, a tail, and a full. Oh, boy. So two. Come on. I wonder if I even still have a minnow. You might have stole my minnow. Oh, come on. I probably didn't even touch him with the hook. Oh, I hate to do this to you. He's chasing me. Yeah, he is. All right, I'll let you go. Oh, he's right on it. Come on. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, did he turn around? Yep. He's chasing it up again. <laughs> oh, he's vertical. He was. Yeah. How do I turn this on? Oh, I'm going to steal him. I'm going to steal him. How do I turn this on? Uh, top button. Oh, if it's off, off the side button. Side button? Yeah. What? What side button? Um, well, the battery might be dead too. No, it just said powering off. Oh. Come here on. he comes, here he comes. Oh, I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna get him. <laughs> oh, he's so slow. This jig might be a little big for him. Oh, you don't think mine was? <laughs> One ounce. Two ounce spoon, whatever it is. He's right on it. He is right on it. Come on. I'm just gonna watch for my rod tip to twitch a little bit. <laughs> that jig might be a little heavy. For oh, it's rod. huge. Oh, no. He's going back for you. Oh, I turned him around. Oh, come on. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. Get up here. Slow it down, slow it down. Let him catch it. He's just turned off it's just so a little bit. So lethargic. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm gonna go back. I wonder if I still have a minnow on my dead stick or not. Oh, here he comes. Come on. All right, David. I should pull my dead stick up. I'm gonna see if I got a minnow on my dead stick still. I think he stole it. Nope, I still got one there. Come on. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's coming up. God, we've been working <clears throat> this fish for five minutes, it feels like. Gosh, there's a little bit of a glare. Losing them. Oh, I didn't go down at all. All right, I'm 
coming for him. Oh, he's coming back up. He's going away. He's going away. Is that a second or a shadow? Mm. Might be a shadow fish. I don't see a second one. Yeah. Like we're losing him finally. Yeah, he's leaving. Dang it. Well, that was a bit of excitement. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen a fish for a couple hours. And that was more of a fish than we'd get on the couch. Yeah, that's absolutely. Wouldn't have had a chance at him at the cabin.